And then let me also bring in Nazim Devji, who's the MD uh, and, of course, CEO of uh, Diamond Trust Bank Group. Nazim, you are in a sector that has witnessed massive disruption over the last possibly 15 years, but we're really feeling the impact over the last 10 years. 20 years ago or so, bankers were considered stiff, averse to change, and so forth. But that's not the case anymore. How has that affected your mindset, your thinking, especially when new ideas are brought your way? Go ahead, it should be on. Good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon. I thought it was, a, it was an, one question you wouldn't ask me was about banking, because that was reserved for Joshua. <laughs> no, it's about the wider sector, <laughs> not, not your bank. No, no, I, I'll try and answer that question. Banking industry has changed. I joined the banking industry in Kenya about 22 years ago. You're right, it was, it's a different industry, but it was, the industry has changed, no different to other industries. So those who are in this industry are questioning the disruption that's knocking at our door. And this disruption, if we don't take that into account on our, in our day-to-day -day life, not even week to week, month to month, it's a question of survival. So if you ask me how has my mindset changed, uh, it's not changed. It's a different mindset in the way we interact with customers, in the way we interact with our, 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 the people we work with, in the way we think about products. It is no longer about ourselves. It is about all of these people. What is it that they will need now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and 50 years from now? That is the question. Do I remain relevant now? Will the institution remain relevant in 50 years? So really, it's not a question of mindset, it's, a, it's distraction, does galore. It, does it give you sleepless nights? From or time have you to, figured it out? From time to time. If you don't get sleepless nights, then you're not doing your job. <laughs> you're not doing your job, because there's Joshua who's who's moved on in digitization, <laughs> and there's... Which Joshua? Or, this, or, only or another Joshua, Joshua out no, there? No, no, this Joshua. Or, or this Joshua, okay. So, you really have to keep up with technology, what's going on, the disruptors like Facebook and so on. It's an <laughs> endless list. Now... Do you have we, any friends in this room today? Uh, <laughs> you they, seem to be pointing no, at everybody. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. They are my best friends. I must make Joshua Oigara my friend and partner in business. FaceTime, my best friend and my partner. It's all going, going to be about partnerships, collaborations, and more collaborations. To survive in a, in a way that we have been moving on uh, in a single manner, not possible. Not possible. So looking for partners. I'm looking for partners. Well done, Nazim. Thank you for sharing that and for being vulnerable to all my panelists here.